Good morning, everybody. On behalf of the Dover Chapter of the Loyal Order of the Slumbering Groundhog Lodge Number 713, I'd like to welcome everyone to the 2013 Groundhog Day Celebration. Yeah! I'm Borough Master Don Keener. And I'm Shadow Keeper Maureen Ack. Uh, our Grand Poobah, Mark Strollsbaugh, uh, can't be with us today. He's uh, kind of our roving ambassador. And do you know where Mark's at today? Last report was Jersey, but I think he's up and down the East Coast this year, Don. Oh, okay, he's kind of helping out some of the Groundhog Lodges that were maybe hard hit earlier this year. Yeah, so. I think he's drying them out. Okay, he's drying them out. So, uh, well, it's a nice crowd we have here this morning. Uh, what are you, thousands? Tens of thousands, yeah. tens of thousands. Please. I think we may actually even have more people than they do out in that other town. Pucks, uh, pucks, uh, Something like yeah. that. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. They're all the people we have here. Uh, well, we're glad to see you here. Uh, like I said, this is Lodge 713, the home of Dover Doug. And we're going to get Dover Doug out here in a little bit. Uh, but before we do that, Shadow Keeper Maureen has a few announcements about today and some upcoming events. Well, I just wanted to remind everybody that's here, and I'm sure you all know, the free pancake breakfast um, at the community building. The, the serving will begin at 8 o'clock. You can go over a little earlier, but they won't be ready to actually give you pancakes until 8. And we will give you tickets once we're done here. Um, I also wanted to remind you of some of the Recreation Department's upcoming events. First, we have the Easter egg hunt that's going to be on March 23rd, and that's for all the kids up to nine years old. It begins at 10 o'clock, and you need to be there on time or you will miss it. After that, in May, on May 18th, we're going, uh, Crystal's going to have her annual yard sale, but this year it's going to be at the old Mid-Atlantic Golf Course. I, if you're interested in tables, getting a table for yourself or a spot, just give her a call during the week. That's all I got. Okay. And we'd like to uh, thank everybody from Dover Township and the Volunteer Fire Department that uh, came out here today to help set things up and provide traffic control and are helping over in the kitchen uh, to help put this on event, uh, put this event on for us this morning on a cold Saturday morning. All right, I'd like to, how many people are here for the first time? Raise your hands. Wow, we have a lot here for the first time. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah, several hundred. <laughs> well, since we have uh, a lot here for the first time, uh, kind of explain to you how we do this and a little history of Dover Doug. Uh, the Grand Poobah, Mark, and I discovered Dover Doug out behind the township building uh, probably 20 some years ago. It seemed that he was uh, looking for work. He uh, moved here to Dover, the town he was from. Somewhere out in western Pennsylvania, it's kind of hard to get a job as a groundhog if your name's Doug. So uh, he moved east. He was looking for a, a town that started with a D, and luckily we found him here. And uh, uh, Mark and I befriended him. Uh, Dover Doug uh, taught us how to uh, speak groundhog. Uh, so now we're we were fluent in groundhog. And then when Dover or when uh, Mark moved on. Uh, we taught Marine how to speak groundhog. So what we're going to do here this morning is Dover Doug will speak to us and we'll interpret the prediction for you. So that's how, that's how we do it here uh, with, uh, with Dover Doug. Is uh, everybody ready to see Dover Doug this morning? Yeah! Is anybody cold? All right, well, what we do here is we always have a chant to kind of get Dover Doug going a little bit in the morning. And uh, I got to tell you, that this year I think we're going to have to really do a good job, chant real loud, because uh, uh, Doug's, Doug's been a little down the dumps lately, and he's, he's kind of a little embarrassed because, you see, he, uh, I found out that uh, he kind of found a girlfriend online. <laughs> And then, unfortunately, he found out it was a hoax, so he, he's kind of a little embarrassed. 
and uh, we're a little down the dump, so we're going to have to really chant real loud. We chant Dover Doug. That usually gets him going, and we never know where he's going to come from. I mean, some years he's come from over here, back here, uh, you know, over there. I think last year he came from over here somewhere. Or No, it was over here. Oh, okay. Okay, so, you know, maybe that's where he's at right now. He doesn't live behind the ground, behind the township building. He's, as he's become more rich and famous, he's kind of moved to an upscale uh, uh, groundhog den. So, uh, so we never know where he's going to come from now. So if everybody will start, we'll start with our chant, Dover Doug. Dover Doug. Dover Doug. Dover Doug. Dover Doug. See, I told you you might be a little embarrassed. You know. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's have a big hand for Dover Doug. So how are you feeling this morning, Doug? A little, a little tired? Are you ready to uh, do your prediction for Groundhog Day? Okay, I think the folks are ready. Uh, everybody out there ready to see what Dover Doug has to say? Okay, how many people want six more weeks of winter? How many people want an early spring? Well, Doug, it sounds like an early spring crowd, so, uh, but that doesn't matter. We'll have to wait and see what you, what you come up with. So are you ready to start? Are you ready, Shadow Keeper? I'm ready, Burrow Master. All right, Doug. The time has come. We're ready. With all the bad news about the Mayan calendar and going off the fiscal cliff, we all need some Groundhog Day humor to give our spirits a lift. <laughs> Tomorrow is the NFL's big day. Today, the Groundhogs will have their say. <laughs> In a short time, the 49ers and the Ravens will have a Super Bowl fight. This morning, Dover Doug has the spotlight. Pizza, chips, and wings are a game day treat. This morning in Dover, we'll have pancakes. All you can eat. <laughs> During the game, we'll hear a lot about the pass and run. This morning, though, we're in for a lot of Groundhog Day fun. <laughs> in 
New Orleans players dream of scoring the winning touchdown. For the big score on Groundhog Day, Dover is the right town. Yay, Dover! <laughs> Both teams hope to win Super Bowl 49 and be champions for the year. It's time for me, Dover Doug, to kick off things right here. No one knows who will win the big game, but Dover Doug knows the rest of the winner will not be tame. With all that said, Dover Doug's prognostication for 2013, six more weeks of winter will yet be Okay, thanks, Doug. Well, folks, he, he just predicts it. He, you know. So, well, some of them are happy and some of them aren't, Doug, but you did your job. We're glad to see you again this year. Let's have a big hand for uh, Dover Doug. And we thank you all for coming, and I believe on your way out you get your there's, tickets. There's tickets up top, and I have tickets here for those that want them. Okay, well, thank you, everybody. See you next year. See you next year.